Hello everyone, welcome to Spurverts part two. I'm Rhys James, I'm here with Craig and Emma. Uh, now we are talking about the training camp in Barcelona, right? The team have gone to Barcelona for a bloody jolly. It's nice. Um, and they're training there and they're bonding a lot. Did you see the photos of the Last Supper? Did oh, you see that one? it was very cute. I like it, I like, I like when they bond. And there's lots yeah. of like, there's lots of Twitter love, there's lots of Insta love. Like, I mean, I love to see our team, our squad, bonding together so well. And it's not just like what you would think of as our first 11, it's the guys who aren't playing every game either. Like they all seem to be gelling together so well as a unit mm. off the pitch. And I think that really shows They're on the mates. pitch. So I'm all for it, although I'm quite jealous. I wouldn't mind a little trip to Barcelona just, you know, for the sake of it. Of course, yeah, Jan's there, he's on crutches, but still smiling. Still yeah, smiling. Yeah, still smiling. Still smiling. Did you see them when they were on their uh, like scooter bikes? Yeah, what, yeah. Were yeah. Those? what were those? Like road men. They also looked about 12, that yeah. whole shot. Like I was literally like, it did kind of remind me how young our team actually is. I was going, Kieran wow. Trippier looked like an absolute. And I was, I was, I was trying to figure out why um, Jake Gillinall was there, um, but it was actually Luke McGee. So oh, I was, is that, I was, was like, that? yeah, I was looking in the middle. I was like, what's Jake doing there? Why, why is he in Spurs? I love Spurs, mate. But then it was Luke McGee, and I was like, oh, okay, that's Luke McGee. There was also Dylan Hall in your top celebrity Spurs fans. Indeed, you will. Next and time. and, might, and, have to, and yeah. might have to re include John Cena because we got quite a lot of complaints Ooh. about that. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry no John Cena. Know. Didn't know. And apparently, um, Batista. And yeah. Remember Batista? I'm not, oh, about the, know, I'm not talking about the shit ass man. <laughs> um, there also was also, celebs. I was going to say, there was also some good pictures as well, of uh, which Spurs, the official um, account put out, of um, uh, Poch uh, doing some little skills on the pitch. Yeah, ah, I've seen that. Yeah. There's, 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 there's been two videos now where Vorm has let Poch score against yeah, him. Yeah, he knows I know what, what he's, he's doing. doing. He's he knows a smart what he's doing. guy, okay? He's trying to keep his boss happy. He always saves the other one. Yeah, <laughs> funny that. <laughs> You know, but still, it's quite fun. It's good to see our manager still got it. I'll, I'm more powerful. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. maybe we sh he should be like Edgar David and uh, sub himself on. Oh yeah. Or maybe he should be a player manager and slot yeah. in alongside Toby Alderweireld. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we, exactly, we need yeah. to defend it now. We so. could do with that. Yeah, we could really do with that. <laughs> okay, next up, uh, could we share the Olympic Stadium with West Ham? Now, apparently, this has cropped back up again. Emma, you know a bit more about this. Indeed, it has. We've had a public meeting today because uh, everyone's still complaining about the fact that West Ham are getting an amazing deal and nobody knows the details of it, other than they're getting it pretty much for free. Um, and at this public meeting, it came up about the possibility of ground share. Obviously, we know that Spurs and Chelsea will both be looking for somewhere to temporarily live while their new stadiums are being built. Uh, West Ham have given it the big one and basically said, well, do you know what? We won't get Premier League ground there because we'll the ones who have the final say with the tenants. Blah, 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 blah. Actually, we don't strictly think that's true. And the possibility is that it could be available for a ground share if obviously they can make all the dates and stuff work and that West Ham wouldn't necessarily have the power to veto us going in there, however much they hate us. But having said that, mm. would you want to ground share? Well, with West Ham? Uh, as much as I would like to just slide in there and disrupt their whole little setup and yeah. just be like, ah, oh, we're here for a season and take the piss, um, I think it wouldn't be good. I don't think it would be good. I think Why the not? fans, uh, I just can't see it. I think it would. There's Wembley. already there's already big tensions between these set of fans. Much worse yeah. than Wembley. So it would really crop up. It would Is take it to new Is there not tension between Spurs and Chelsea if we're going to... Yeah, yeah but it, none of us own Wembley. Exactly. You know, Wembley's just right. like a neutral territory. It's completely whereas neutral. We're going to be moving into their, to their gaff. And so, also having to yeah. go through their territory every single time we go to a home game. Like, I don't... I, I Into don't, the east side. Yeah, I don't really yeah. find that a lot of fun, to be honest. Let alone what it'd be like when we actually played each other at What the if it ground. was Olympic Stadium or Milton Keynes? Olympic oh, Olympic Stadium. Stadium. Right, okay. I mean, you could have just popped into Wagamama's over at uh, Westfields and then... Yeah, the Westfields yeah. really I nice I do round think Milton Keynes has <laughs> Wagamama's, Craig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it's got some restaurants, not all roundabouts. Okay, <laughs> so... <laughs> The Sun say that Chelsea turned down the chance to sign Delhi Alley. Oh dear. Now, how what? big could that have been this season? <laughs> Everyone's so. turned down the chance. What's yeah. going on now? Yeah, yeah, Basically, yeah, everyone. True. Flipping Basically, LA Galaxy, everyone. Do you know why this is? Because they haven't got Paul Mitchell. That's what it is. They haven't got yeah. Paul Mitchell, they haven't got Poch. They didn't see what they saw. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And he was in Milton Keynes having a wag of others everywhere. But it is quite funny when you think about, you know, Chelsea have, you know, done the dirty on us recently. We'll talk about Willian. Anyone? Willian? Yes, yeah. remember him? Yeah. Uh, it's quite nice to know that we've actually got one back because, yeah, let's face it, everyone's crying into their shirts now thinking, oh, I wish we'd signed Deli Ali. Well, you didn't. We did. A part exactly. of me still wish we signed Willian, though. No? Well, just a little part. Yeah. Just, just yeah. tiny, he's a baller, tiny, he's a baller. Tiny I'll never tell him it to his face. No. Speaking of him, uh, Chelsea beating Arsenal at the weekend. Yeah, how Quite weird was that? confusing feelings for oh. us as Spurs fans, wanting Chelsea to win and sort of celebrating it, the felt, evil that is Chelsea. I felt so dirty. Diego Costa. <laughs> I felt so dirty cheering when Chelsea scored. It mm. was just like one of those moments it's like, how can I be happy that Diego Costa's just put the ball in the back as well. of the net? I know, oh my God. Villain. Guys, I didn't. Really? I was smiling. I was smiling my head <laughs> off. I hate Arsenal that much. Oh, I still cheated. I wanted it, it to. I was weird. just like, yeah, 
okay, this is good. I felt, bit, I, I felt very wrong. I felt very wrong, but it was so wrong, but it was right. What about? You know, ooh, ooh, look ooh, at us. Ooh, did, you, ooh. did any of you? Th- did any part of you think well, after the game Terry was interviewed and asked about can you still get fourth? And you said, oh, of course we can. Oh, oh Terry! Did any please. part of you think? Uh, Oh, they have no. got three points now. No. We weren't expecting them to get. No. Okay. I think we've established that we don't want to hear from John Terry anymore. No, JT. Yeah. Uh, oh, and wait. if you do work for the legal department of Chelsea, uh, don't get in touch with us. Thank you for watching <laughs> Spurverts Part 2. Make sure to give us a like. Uh, let us know your thoughts on these things. Did Chelsea really turn down the chance to sign Deli Ali? Were they ever really in the loop? Who knows? Uh, and have you seen any photos we haven't seen of them in Barcelona? Living the high life. Living la vida loca. Thanks for watching. Uh, and make sure to subscribe to the channel. And follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. And we'll see you soon. Hello and welcome to Spurred on TV. Now, in honour of Deli Ali's showstopper of a goal against Crystal Palace, I've compiled my top 10 list of Spurs goals in a Premier League era. 